What's going on YouTube and welcome back to another one. Today we're back with some yard sale pickups. I wasn't able to get out this weekend but my mom was able to get out. We didn't hit the flea market this weekend unfortunately. It was just raining on Sunday so I don't think anyone was setting up there. I don't go and check when it's raining because I don't like to be walking around in the rain. But luckily my mom found the jackpot at some yard sale. So we're going to start off with some hats. I paid a dollar each for all these hats. So we got the same one right here, a little basic vintage Camel Joe, snapback hat, a little script on the back. We got four of those. Like I said, we paid a dollar each for all these hats I'm about to show you. This is a yard sale they do about every year, and I do find some good hats every year. Another Camel Joe. This is the menthol green, maybe, I think they call it, or just green. But another dollar. Can't beat it. Comps will be popping up below, like always. This one I was really debating on keeping. It's such a cool hat. Milwaukee Electric Tools, like canvas style. Such a nice hat. Very clean. And all these hats were clean for the age. I mean, these are all vintage hats for sure. And they're just so clean. Another good one. Bill Elliott spell out. 94 in the back. Still got the freaking price tag on it. 25 bucks. This one ain't super old, but still nice hat. Nice Pepsi hat. New with tags. Can't beat it. Another dollar. M&M &M Minis. Just another nice little snapback. Thankfully we found this haul because other than that it really wasn't too crazy this weekend. The weather was just not work, working with us, but can't believe we found this hat lot. It's a nice, nice hat lot. K Products, another Milwaukee Tools. We are still going. Camel, spell out. We got three of these. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. And again, they're all so clean. I didn't know how many hats you need of camel but I love this one this one's really cool and I mean this one's very very clean I mean a little yelling from the Sun probably from where but 1991 camel beach this was probably one of the more expensive hats but I mean at a dollar I'm not complaining whatsoever another sick camel one 1991 dated again so sick actually have one of these already listed, but these are so cool. Corduroy, Salem cigarettes, can't beat it. This is another one of the higher end hats out of the bunch. A little Marble Racing Team, 1992, Vanguard tag. And this was the, well not really, this is the last one I have here. Pepsi USA, brand new, with tags. I have two others at home, but they are just going to get a little wash treatment this is actually the last hat this is at a different yarn sale but still another dollar detroit lions snapback new era can't beat it for a buck so that's all the hats we'll get into the other cool stuff all right next up we got this little nylon gmc mr goodwrench 18 wheel semi truck brand new in the box oh, that sticker's not supposed to be there but paid 15 dollars for this um, I thought it was a little high when my mom sent me the picture and price, but since I was at the store, I looked up comps real quick, and this comps for, I believe, $85, so not too bad, and they made different versions of it, but this one found two different comps at 85 so paying 15 wasn't bad. All right, next little lot we got, we'll start off here. We got a little Mark Martin mug. I think we paid a dollar each for these glasses. I'm not a big glass guy. Um... I don't know why my mom just picked them up honestly but for a buck i can't beat it i do have a little antique boost so if they don't go pretty fast online i'll just put them down there but these are pretty cool i thought ronald mcdonald these are the old collector series i believe this one isn't dated but this one was around the late 80s maybe not too sure didn't really look up comps on these but i'll try to pop them up snoopy can't beat it 1965 but that's not the date on this one can't beat Snoopy. Everyone loves Snoopy. I thought this one was pretty cool. 
not sure what type of jar this is maybe a little jelly jam jar but pretty cool a dollar couldn't beat it here's another little peanuts thing and again one dollar never really pass up Disney too much but I sold a lot of coffee mugs at my booth of Disney so at a dollar I didn't think this was a bad buy um, if I find comps I'll pop it up but usually I was putting prices of like eight to twelve dollars depending on how big and if they were damaged or not this one doesn't seem too bad and it looks kind of brand new so this one might be like a ten dollar one so one dollar into ten isn't too bad And this was, I can't believe this one was a dollar, actually. Sometimes you can get lucky and find some Disney stuff, but you got Disney Cinderella Snow Globe with the clock. The clock does not work, unfortunately, and I'm not sure how you get a battery in it because it's a solid base. So, I'm not really sure, but I will put this at my antique booth. Um, paid a dollar for this, like I said. Can't beat that. I think it comps for around 20 bucks, but it'll pop up right here. So, there's that. Can't beat a dollar on Disney stuff. Probably one of the most hated teams in the NFL, but hey, brand new in the box. New England Patriots, Super Bowl champions, 500 piece puzzle. Um, I think this was a dollar. I'm not too sure. It looks like it got a little rust right there, but I mean, it still is sealed. So, don't really know about comms, but I'll pop them up. And last but not least, we got this little, I'm not even sure what this was, but I'm trying to get a little more into electronics. Um, I know they sell pretty good, some of them, but this was $5, so I mean, I don't know, don't know how good it comes out, but there's the model number, and I'm not even sure what brand it is, but she, the person said it worked, so I kind of just took her word on it. Like I said, my mom is out and about, so it was kind of just a split second call, so... I'll let you know how that goes. Alright, so I actually picked these up at an auction a while ago with the clothing and everything we did in the last video, two, from the last video or two videos ago. But I just wanted to do a little like bolo, I guess, on Dukes of Hazard. This one's sealed. Um, Uno, I believe this comes for about 40 to $50. Um, I paid $12 for a whole lot of cards. Um, I really wanted, there was PGA four cards from 1991 I believe that I wanted for my personal collection and these came with and I believe this Ono 99 comps for about 20 to 25 brand new I'm not quite sure realistically but I'll pop them up but these are kind of little bolo if you ever find them I know card games are always really cheap at yard sales all right for our last little lot here we got some clothing and a blanket but like I said, it was rainy, weather wasn't cooperating much, but that's okay. Picked up some decent stuff, and that hat lot really helped us out. Also, we went, we do a beer sign auction on a Facebook group every two weeks, and we went and picked up that stuff, so that'll be in a future video, next video after this one, so you can see what kind of beer signs I buy, what I look at and stuff. We'll go through that and we hit up a thrift store because you never pass up a thrift i wanted some cracker barrel and there's a thrift store right there so that's double trouble for me so last little lot here from yard sales i think these were a dollar a piece penn state um this is like an iron-on thing but dai not really sure how vintage it is kind of looks like a cream yellow yellow white cream whatever you call it but i mean for a dollar i can't really pass it up um even though i'm in pennsylvania most of the Penn State stuff does go out of state, so no big deal, really. This one I honestly probably wouldn't have picked up because it is a little newer. It is 2017, but it is NASCAR, so I didn't really care too much, and it is Pocono, so worst comes to worst, I might have put like a $10 price tag on this at my booth because the back logo is pretty nice but I mean it is 2017 I didn't really look when my mom sent me the pictures I did think it, the graphics were pretty cool but you never know I'm not into selling the newer stuff but this one's actually pretty cool and this one I took a shot at I honestly don't even know but 2000 Blues Brothers um honestly I have no clue, but it's looked like a pretty cool shirt. I mean, a little bleach. I don't know if that's normal or not, 
but it kind of looks it. it looks pretty cool does need to be washed a little 1998 tag or date on it a little house of blues and the last little item if i can fit it on the screen oh it isn't that big it's not as big as i thought it was but a little frozen kind of feels like a little double oh no it is big it is big so yeah so frozen um i'm not sure who that is i'm not sure frozen characters but i know it was a big video or movie so and i'm pretty sure this was a dollar too i do sell a lot of little fleece blankets online i mean mercari's well for that but they'll go up on ebay too but that is the last item that's gonna do it for today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe we have some more coming out like i said we got our beer sign pickups and some little goodwill pickups that we went to so stay tuned catch you on the next one and peace